Good morning everyone. So I am finally doing this vlog style morning routine. Literally vlog style. I actually probably just woke up. This is not fake. This is me. Good morning. And my beautiful George just bought me a coffee, which is amazing. It's about 6.40. Um, this is usually later than we would get up, but um, we are just going to be going to the gym soon because that's what we do first thing in the morning. I will admit, when I very first wake up, when George takes the animals down, I do check my phone. It's something that I've been trying to get out of the habit of doing because then I'm already in the mindset of work. I'm trying to work on not doing that, but I already have checked my phone, responded to emails, comments, messages, and all of that. Now I'm gonna go to the gym. I've just finished a workout at the gym. I do try workout in the morning as a part of my morning routine due to the fact that I do feel as though it's a good way to just really energize yourself in the morning. So I mean, if you've read the book by Hal Elrod about the miracle morning, he obviously talks about all the benefits of exercising in the morning. I just feel A, it's good to get it out of the way as opposed to trying to do it at night when you know I'm still trying to work, still trying to hustle. But um, also doing it in the morning makes me feel really good, makes me feel productive, makes me feel as though I've already accomplished something by the time I sit down to work. So if you don't work out in the morning, give it a try. I mean, you obviously don't need to go to the gym. You could do some yoga, do some stretching, do some Pilates, go for a walk, whatever it is, but just try to move your body for at least 15 minutes to, you know, an hour in the morning as a part of your morning routine. So when I am cooking breakfast slash when we are actually eating breakfast, what George and I do is pretty much either listen to motivational videos or we listen to audio books. Right now we're actually, oh my God, my hair is crazy from the gym. Right now we are pretty obsessed with Gary Vaynerchuk after I realized that I didn't hate him. So I am listening to the Ask Gary V book. It is basically just a compilation of his Ask Gary Vee show, all the best questions, but he goes off on like serious tangents in this book. It's super motivating. It's super informational about social media management, self-awareness, and all of that jazz. It's really important to you know educate yourself. It's really important to commit to continuous learning. And I like to do that not only when I'm eating breakfast and making breakfast, but you know, all throughout the morning when I'm getting ready. So audiobooks, podcasts, videos, whatever it is, whatever you like to absorb, whatever you like to consume, surround your environment with uplifting content. 12 employees and 11 wanted to quit because they hated the person running the show. And $50,000 would mean like 500 million to me today. And I figured out how to get through that threshold. And once I did... What I will do as well is I'm going to leave a list in the description below with, I don't know, just like a comprehensive list of all my favorite resources. So people that I know, I kind of did a video on this recently, but I'll leave some of the videos that I watch, the audio books that I like, people that I like to listen to, the podcasts that I like. So I'll leave a little list down below so that you can, you know, use some of these resources in your own morning routine. So I've just had a shower. Basically now what I would do is kind of get ready for the day by doing my makeup. I think it's really, really important to start the day feeling, you know, good about yourself, feeling beautiful, feeling powerful and confident. So I do my hair and I do my makeup every single day, even on the days that I am not filming. You know, some Fridays I might slack a little bit, but I just think it's so important. I mentioned this in my last morning routine that I think it's just really important to fully embrace and embody the woman that you desire to be, you know, this powerful CEO or whatever dreams you're trying to achieve. So you know, act as if you are that person every single day. And you know, a part of that for me is really feeling like I am beautiful and getting ready for the day. So 
So after I've got ready, pretty much what I would do then is sit down to visualize, meditate, and then after that I would be doing journaling. Honestly, if it was up to me, I would do my visualization and meditation and journaling first thing in the morning, like before I worked out, before I ate breakfast, because obviously that's when your mind is the clearest. However, with the new puppy, it's really hard for us to meditate and everything when he's dying for his breakfast. So I've kind of adapted my morning routine for now to just sort of fit it in just before I do start work. And what I have been loving at the moment is Boho Beautiful. She is just, she's got a yoga channel and I've been listening to a lot of her guided visualizations and meditations. So I'm gonna do that now. Yeah. So basically, you know, after I've done my morning routine, done all of my visualization, exercise, eating, getting ready, when I actually do sit down to start work, the first thing I generally will do is obviously check my emails and check my calendar. You know, do I have any client calls? What do I actually have on for today? And then from there, write a to-do list. Today is actually a Sunday, so I don't have any client calls or anything, but what I will be doing today is filming some videos and I'm working really, really hard on my up and coming group coaching program, The Game Changer Collective, which, you know, I am just gonna do a little plug here but if you want more information it is a group coaching experience it's going to be amazing I'll make a whole video about it but you can join the wait list for that to receive a 50% off discount at the moment sorry for the plug I understand but you know um, so that's pretty much how I would start my day just really getting organized my to-do list figuring out exactly what I've got to do and then most importantly doing the harder tasks first so if that's filming if that's you know writing ebooks if that's anything like that I'll do all of the more hands-on stuff in the morning I think that's really important because I'm the type of person whose creativity goes way downhill as the day progresses so I have to do the easier stuff like social media posts and stuff in the afternoon or editing so that is my day that is my morning routine I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog style I want to say a huge thank you to my lovely fiance George who is not only helped me film this but is going to be editing it for you guys let me know what you thought of the video let me know if there's any other videos that you do want to see and I thank you so much for watching everyone I'll see you in the next one